So this is a video documenting the uh, crazy baking stuff. This is an LG 47 LE 5400. It's a uh, 47 inch LED TV. I purchased it in uh, 2010. Bought a five year extended warranty and um, uh, my TV failed uh, three days after the five year warranty uh, expired. Um, when you open the back of the LG TVs, you'll see this huge honking motherboard. And uh, you'll also see a space right here with two white cables, uh, a gray cable at the top, and two smaller pins at the bottom, and a green motherboard, which I'll show you in just a second. And uh, that is the motherboard that you want to remove. In this case, the problem is the dreaded uh, goes to the LG startup screen. You see the LG symbol and a little clock icon and uh, then four dashes which represent uh, 24 hour time but they're just dashes with no actual numbers in it. And then from that point out you uh, can't do anything else. This is the motherboard and I placed it on a boring piece of cardboard. And uh, there are two things, two choices you can do. You can uh, leave it in the oven to cool down or take it out to cool down. Because supposedly this is uh, melting solder and reconnecting solder connections, I'm actually going to leave it in the oven uh, 385 degrees for 10 minutes and I'm going to let it cool for an hour in the oven. Um, I carefully inspected the board to make sure there weren't any plastic pieces that can melt. So I'm very hopeful uh, that um, we're going to be a go here in uh, 10 minutes, 385, and we'll see how it looks when we're done. Well, 385, just a quick look so you can see what the board looks like in the oven itself. And uh, so, uh, here we, we are at uh, seven minutes, seven minutes to go. Uh, the dogs think it stinks. Uh, I think it stinks. It uh, smells very acrid uh, here in the kitchen, and uh, I've got the door open now because it smells uh, it's actually pretty intense. So, check back in momentarily. We are counting down the last five seconds, and uh, we will now open up and see what kind of disaster. Woo, that stinks. Uh, so I kept the front door open and uh, the door in the kitchen open to create some, some cross flow. And, uh, let's take a look. Here's the board. Uh, there's nothing running. There's no solder dripping anywhere. I don't see anything that looks like melted plastic. So I'm going to leave the board like this for a few minutes uh, under some vacuous theory that uh, if it cools too fast, something bad will happen. And uh, we'll leave it like this for about five minutes and I'll pull it out and let it dry on top of the stove. So uh, here's the board uh, sitting out on a counter. So I'm going to give it uh, 20 minutes and I'm going to do a little close up visual inspection. Uh, as you can see, the board's still radiating a lot of heat. Of course, you can't feel it, but I can. Uh, it's not like on close inspection, you can see that anything is run or that solder is somehow fluid. So I guess all of that just happens at a, a micro level. But um, there's no visible destruction of any parts of the board. and. Uh, no plastic pieces that uh, have melted. So, uh, going to uh, uh, let this another give it another twenty minutes, and then we'll move to the next part. Okay, will it work? Is it going to work? Okay, that's where it froze before. And back up a little. Back up a little. That's the HDMI, and all that has to come on now is the rotating cube, and it is fixed. Cube, cube, cube. Woo! It's fixed. Woohoo! This video with everything reconnected to the 
AV receiver and uh, cable hooked up. I'm going to turn on the cable and the TV. Here's where it got stuck before. And uh, you can see we are uh, talking to your doctor, and this may increase absolutely 100% back in business. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your efforts. Bye bye.